To everyone else, Natalie Briggs Williams may just be another statistic, number 160-something on this country's COVID-19 death toll. But to her family and friends, she was a sister, cousin, prayer warrior, and much more. Her cousin, Denise Briggs, said one of the first symptoms Natalie experienced was an air infection. A week later, when her symptoms worsened, she was admitted to the Mount Hope General Hospital where she was swabbed and tested positive for COVID-19. She was then transferred to the Kuva Hospital on Sunday, April 25, but spent only four days at the facility. Wednesday, this is what happened on Wednesday. The Wednesday, they called and said her body wasn't receiving the oxygen properly. And they, they had given her a shot to see data. And then after it was Thursday, Thursday they called back with the oxygen level improved a little bit. And Friday morning, they called and said that she was dead. Ms. Briggs said it's been a very painful experience for her close-knit family. Because of the public health restrictions, which limit the number of persons who can attend funerals to 10, only nine family members will be attending the funeral. And although they are allowed to host a funeral service for their late relative, they are not allowed to keep the body, as government officials will dispose of it. Ms. Briggs said she often thinks about what could have caused her cousin to contract the virus, and she believes she got it while being at home in her kitchen. So she would have stood by the door, and you know, sometimes people come and they hold onto the door handle, and sometimes you yourself, they, they go on, it might be an hour or two, and they would have hold the door handle. A hole, you see that door handle, my biggest thing is by that door. Right by that door there, it's right there that COVID came and beat her. As for the next steps, she said she will be taking the COVID-19 vaccine along with other members of her family. She said everyone should follow the COVID-19 regulations to protect themselves and their family. All the sanitize, keep all the children in their own space. Keep all the children in their own space. Watch what you're doing, watch what you're touching. Don't go in the maxi and pull on your mask to talk on your phone and do pay it back up. You don't know, you don't know. COVID has no face. COVID has no face and it is not a respect of person. To date, there have been 196 deaths due to COVID-19. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.